Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Mark Cuban gave Red Hen huge gift for booting Sanders, but Trump just took it all away. This is simply beneath Mark Cuban, in my opinion. He had nothing but high praise for the Red Hen restaurant owner who booted White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders and seven members of her family. That owner proceeded to follow Sarah's in-laws and protest them at another restaurant that they went to after leaving hers. The behavior here is deplorable and should not be commended by anyone, especially someone like Cuban. He should know better. President Trump took away the gift of praise that Cuban gave the Red Hen owner by stating this, the Red Hen restaurant should focus more on cleaning its filthy canopies, doors and windows, badly needs a paint job, rather than refusing to serve a fine person like Sarah Huckabee Sanders. I always had a rule, if a restaurant is dirty on the outside, it is dirty on the inside. Instead of praising this establishment, Trump was right to slam them for being filthy. I make it a practice never to eat somewhere that is not well kept on the outside so I can relate to what the president said. Actually, this Red Hen franchise is dirty on the outside. I've seen pics of it. And ratings can be manipulated, but that's neither here, nor there. I would never eat at an establishment that treats customers this way. They have every right to ask someone like Sarah Huckabee Sanders to leave, but they also have the right to be shunned and go out of business. That's something Cuban might want to consider before condoning such horrid behavior. The D.C. franchise of the Red Hen restaurant was quick to point out that they did not share this owner's political views. I don't blame them. The restaurant was slammed on Yelp and on social media. It got so bad, they eventually had to take down their Facebook page. I have no sympathy for them in the least. When Sanders and her family went into that restaurant, they ordered. The owner claims to have taken a vote with employees and then asked Sarah out on the patio. She requested that Sanders and her family leave on moral grounds. Which is a wicked joke. From TMZ. We got Cuban leaving Nate and ALS Sunday in Bev Hills and, although he thinks it's good the restaurant owner took a moral stand, he worries it could become a slippery slope and other owners could deny service based on race or sexual orientation. The good news, under federal law, an owner can't discriminate based on race. The laws governing sexual orientation are dicier. On the other side, Donald Trump, the man who praised Kim Jong-un, excoriated the restaurant by tweeting, the Red Hen restaurant should focus more on cleaning its filthy canopies, doors and windows, badly needs a paint job, rather than refusing to serve a fine person like Sarah Huckabee Sanders. I always had a rule, if a restaurant is dirty on the outside, it is dirty on the inside. Trump's baseless claim contains no information suggesting how the Red Hen is unsanitary. Fact is, before this weekend's incident, Yelp gave the place a 4.5 rating out of 5. It's a good question. You can make an argument on both sides, Cuban told TMZ. I don't know what I would have done. More power to them for sticking up for what they believe in. But on the flip side, you don't want to extend that to minorities, LGBTQ, etc. So it's hard to figure out where that fine line is. That comment led to the following tweet from Mark Dice, so at McCuban wants to deny Trump supporters from attending at Dallas Mavs games? He says more power to them referring to Red Hen kicking Sarah Huckabee out. Dice's tweet caused Twitter to explode over Cuban's comments. Some called for the boycott of Shark Tank, CNBC's Cuban starring startup pitch show. Others pointed out that Cuban should remember where his team plays its basketball. Cuban, of course, loves the attention. He responded to Dice within a half hour of his tweet, telling him that all people, even Mark Dice, are welcome to see the Mavs at American Airlines Center. And it would seem that Cuban after all this had somewhat of a change of heart and defended Trump and his supporters on Twitter, actually, we all owe a debt of gratitude to Trump voters for opening our eyes to issues many of us hadn't recognized. Although, I suspect that is a left-handed compliment from Cuban. Cuban went on to tweet, first issue that comes to mind is that all political parties are useless. We would be far better off if we gave up our party affiliation and identified ourselves as American. Political parties are the real deep state trying to protect their own at the expense of the rest. That may be partially true, but egging on radical leftists doesn't help either side. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.